incredibly terrible taste. <laughs> this is so <laughs> <laughs> I just realised what that was. I'll show you the V. Okay, wait, no. <laughs> Two, take three. Okay. Let's talk about the collaboration with Mulberry. Um, how did it come about? Why were you excited to take it on? I was really excited. I, and it said, don't tell anyone, and told my mum <laughs> <laughs> straight away. But, um, yeah, I was really excited about it because, you know, I haven't done accessories in, at Alawalia and it was an opportunity to partner with a brand that is really meaningful to me. I grew up in London with, in such a multicultural society and so there's a real London style to that. I think there's something really particular about the way my friends dress. With the Nigerian and Indian sides of my heritage, the men and women in Lagos, like the flamboyancy definitely comes through my work and then I definitely like to celebrate the Indian craftsmanship and I think that they kind of all merge together. Let's talk about the kind of ritual and ceremony of styling black hair, which is a really kind of intimate and an important part of black culture. To me, I'm always thinking about ancestry and lineage in my work, and hair is something that we literally pass through our ancestry, right? Like, we, we, we're learning what our, the people before us learn and getting to express that creatively. I was obsessed with MTV Bass and Channel U, and I used to watch music videos in front of the TV all the time. I would see people that looked like me reflected back from the TV, but they were like kings and queens. They were so celebrated. The creativity in that period of music videos is just like incredible, right? True art, in my opinion. The bags and the clothes came from like the same world of research, I guess. All the sketchbook pages of hair references and uh, music video references like Missy Elliott videos and Aaliyah videos. It came from like the same world. Definitely like the panelling and like how things were cut inspired by lines and hair was really important. I wanted this really fresh, summery feeling. I'm thinking about like, if someone's like in a club, but they're in Ibiza and they're dancing on a beach, how are they gonna feel wearing this? Like, are they gonna feel sexy? Are they gonna feel like mysterious? And I think that they needed to work together, but they do have their own separate identity. Did you design with yourself in mind? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I really did design myself in mind. What do I want to wear to a club? What do my friends want to wear? These are some of the badges that are in the collection and they were really inspired by the Black Panthers and their badges and their bags on their coats. And the reason I was thinking about it is that like hair in the Black Panther movement and in Black culture in general is like a sign of resistance. And so we've got like these Afro comb badges as well as like different braiding patterns. Someone that knows about the badges of the Black Panthers might resonate with that when they see it. What was your first memory of Mulberry? My mum would have Mulberry bags and I was always trying to borrow them. She might say steal them and wear them out with friends or like if I was going out on a Saturday when I was like a teenager. And I remember my first job was in a department store and Mulberry was the concession next to me. And um, when I didn't have any customers, I was always trying them on, looking inside, um, like really analysing them, I guess. You talked about the ritual and the ceremony of black hair and how it was a source of inspiration in the bags. Tell me a little bit about how that has come through. It kind of manifests itself in all different ways, even like how the shapes of the panels are, like, those panel shapes are from looking at like when plaits go together and then tracing those panels off. So it's kind of abstract, but it's everywhere. And when you think of the phrase made to last, what do you think of? To me and Mulberry, I think that made to last is something that should be in like every design. I try and make things in the best quality I can. And that's because I want someone to really feel like they've got something special that they'll cherish, right? I've got things I've been wearing for like 10, 15 years, and I hope that my Alawalia pieces, but also these Mulberry pieces, will be a part of people's wardrobes like that. I wouldn't want to make anything any other way.